You're moving to a new house and you realize there's a lot standing between you and the big day. But you can check off step one, finding a moving company. With Isaac's checklist by your side, you'll make sure that you won't miss a thing. We've come up with a list of five things to do at each step before the big day, from one month away to the day itself. Let's begin with a few weeks before. Step one, plan what you're going to take. Make an inventory of your belongings. It would be useful for you to see what you really have. It would be useful for the movers to estimate space and cost. Draw a plan of the new house and decide exactly what you're going to take with you or what you're going to give away or sell. You'll also want to decide whether you want to pack yourself or if you want Isaac's full service staff to do the packing for you. Step two, if you do the packing yourself, make sure to have the right tools. It'll be a lot easier. Step three, start with packing and sorting. Start with what you don't really use. See our guide to packing to keep yourself on track. It's a good idea to start with the garage, attic, and basement. They're often filled with treasures and other odds and ends. You might even find some hidden treasures in a hidden hideaway you totally forgot about. Well, maybe not, but a good old fashioned yard sale might take them off your hands. Even if you're not packing yourself, sorting through your possessions may take a while, so you allow yourself plenty of time to get through it all. Create a file of important documents related to the move. Contracts, receipts, lists, insurance information, rental agreements, etc. Keep a notebook for to-do lists, notes on phone conversations, and recommendations from friends. If your employer is contributing to the move, Make sure to keep a careful track of all documents related to the charges involved with the move. Step five, you can register your change of address with the post office online or by picking up a card in your local post office. They recommend registering the change of address at least a couple of weeks before you want the mail to start being forwarded. Make a list of people and companies you need to notify including telephone, electric, internet, and cable services. You may have some packing under your belt, but there's more to go. And there's also some other people to keep in the loop about your moving plans. Step one, to help keep things under control, it's useful to designate a packing room. Choose a spare bedroom or a study and try to pack that room first. Then you can use this room to store boxes so you don't trip over them. Even if you arrange for Isaacs to pack for you, it would be very useful to have a room to store valuables, documents, personal items that you're going to take with you. Organization is the key to a successful packing day. Step two, arrange a babysitter for your children and a kennel for your pets. Young children are sometimes left with neighbors or relatives, but older children may want to be involved, which often proves to be a positive experience for them. Moving can sometimes be difficult for a child, so participating gives them a sense of involvement. Step three, contact your utility supplier, gas, electric, telephone, cable, to arrange disconnection and reconnection dates. Step four, check that the staff of your work and of your children's school know your dates of transit. Be sure to ask in advance for an adequate number of vacation days you need to settle you and your family into your new home. If your children are switching schools, make sure that their records have been forwarded to your new school. Step five, set aside essential documents you'll be carrying, such as passport and insurance papers. The last thing that you want is to be running around looking for your passport the day of your flight. Carry all valuables and jewelry yourself. You may be getting a little nervous or nostalgic for a creaky door or a lock that sticks, but there's still a long way to go. Here's another five things to check off your list. Step one, confirm your arrangements with the movers so everyone knows where and when to be. Military precision is not called for, but feel free to synchronize your watches. 
Step two, make arrangements for paying the movers, either cash, money order, or a certified check. They may agree to invoice your employer if your company is paying for the move. Just remember to make all arrangements in advance. Step three, plan your meals for the week and only buy essential ingredients so you don't have to throw any more food away. Try to use up any frozen and canned foods. Canned tuna and frozen waffles may be a weird dinner, but hey. Or invite some friends over for a truly potluck dinner. Step four, begin to collect everything you need for a personal travel suitcase. By the time you're finished, this should contain everything you need for the last couple of nights in your old home, any travel days, and the first couple of nights in your new home. You'll probably want one for each person, containing toiletries, a good book, a few changes of clothes, and some PJs. Step five, put together a second communal supply box with all the things you want on hand as soon as you arrive. A set of flatware for everyone, towels, bed linens, extra light bulbs, toilet paper, and a mug or two. Either take these items with you or put them somewhere accessible on the moving truck. Finally, it's almost moving day and there's a couple days left to go. And if you're packing yourself, you may feel that you're not far from living camping life or returning to your college days with only a bed and a few plates to your name. Or if it's Isaac's professional movers that are packing for you, you may feel the excitement that everything's about to happen. Step one, there's nothing worse than unpacking dirty laundry, so make sure everything is washed and packed away. Step two, you may need to disconnect equipment like your washer and dryer, electronics, and remove bulbs from lamps. If you are uncertain about how to disconnect some of the electricity or gas fittings, please contact a professional. Step three, defrost your freezer. If you're taking it with you, Make sure you dry it out. Step four, prepare food for moving day or plan to order takeout. Then pack away the rest of the kitchen, but make sure to leave out the coffee maker to sustain the troops. Step five, we know it's easier said than done, but you need everything clean, if not dusted by the time the movers arrive. If you're struggling, invite a couple friends over to help. Buy some cheese for those crackers in the back of the cupboard and create a small social event. The adrenaline is pumping as hale and hearty movers are about to descend on your house and you're ready to go. Most of your work is done and the movers will take over in an eminently professional manner, but there are still a few things you need to do. Step one. Be on site and available to answer any questions the movers may have. Make sure your cell is fully charged so that when the movers are arriving, leaving, or your partner winds stuck behind a wall of boxes, you'll be on call. Step two, make sure young children and pets are supervised and out of harm's way. You can give older children specific jobs like making sure the movers have enough water and coffee or checking that the cupboards are empty. Step three, take meter readings at your old house and your new house. Step four, stripping the bed may be one of the last things you do. So just make sure your bedding ends up somewhere accessible so you can set yourself up easily when you get to your new home. Step five, most importantly, once it's all over, relax, order takeout, pizza perhaps. Take yourself out to a restaurant and relax, knowing that Isaac's has everything taken care of. We hope that this advice has been helpful. Feel free to contact Isaac's Moving Consultant with any questions about your packing needs. At Isaac's Moving and Storage, we want your move into your new house to be a wonderful experience for you and your family.